Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another beautiful day. Yeah. So today, you guys, I'm gonna talk about the top four things I dislike about this R19 Pure. So to preface this, this is uh, just based off of my opinion. It may not apply to all the different variants of the R9T, so just keep that in mind. So number four on my list, when you first purchase this bike, it does not come with an RPM gauge. In my opinion, I think every R9T variant should have come with a rev counter. It's a pretty straightforward install. I actually made a video on how to install it. I personally prefer a rev counter over the speedometer. Having two clocks just puts the entire look together, but you know, to each his own. Doesn't take much effort. So now we're gonna remove these two that holds the speedometer. But I get it, BMW wanted to cut costs and that's why it's priced the way it is. And number three on my list, the lack of suspension adjustability. Now have you changed any of the settings? No. Nope. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so you have 40 millimeters of rider sag in the back and then you have nothing here. Zero. So, two kids on a trampoline, you eject the person next door. Right? If you have no static sag here, as soon as you decelerate the bike wants to go up and drive itself forward because the shock has no dead space. We're already at 40 millimeters with your weight. So the spring is too soft. Whoa! <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, Ow! And all the travel and bottom, bottom in it now as well. And if we are, then we need another, we need fork springs and the shock spring. See where I'm going with yeah. that? Yeah. So we do a quick assessment. BMW should have at least put some rebound and dampening adjustability on the rear shock. So number two on my list, the lack of a fuel indicator. Sure, you could do it the old school way where you just reset the trip. But if you're gonna pay over 10 grand for a bike like this, I feel that it should have a fuel indicator. So the lack of a fuel consumption indicator also applies to all the different R9T variants. None of them have it. Nope. And number one on my list, the gear selector. Honestly, it's not even that big of a problem. It's just more of an annoyance. I often find myself having to find first gear at a stoplight. Uh-oh. What the f just happened? Weird. Finesse the bike a little bit. You gotta rock it back and forth just so it gets into first. But I guess that's just the character of the bike, right? For me, I find it annoying. <laughs> so there you go, guys. My honest and unbiased list of what I dislike. Three days later. All right, guys. So this is a few days after my ride, and I'm gonna add number five. Now I don't know how common this is, but my fuel filler cap is leaky. I'm almost certain that it's the rubber o-ring that could have been seated improperly during my last oil change. And I want to make sure that's the case and I want to have the dealer have a look at it. I'm gonna do a little bit of time traveling, see what the dealer comes back with. See you in a bit. Welcome back. Well, alright guys, so it ended up being the rubber o-ring gasket. So that was replaced and all is well. I don't even know if I should count that on my list because again, I don't know if this is common and it happens to a lot of R90s. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you haven't seen the top five reasons why I bought my R90, I'm gonna leave the link 
down in the description below. Be sure to check that out, guys. So I'm curious, let me know what you guys think in the comments below what you dislike about the R90. Guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here and I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you like what you see, smash that like button, and as always, be sure to keep those side stands up. Peace!